The Milpera massacre happened in a quiet suburb of Sydney on Father's Day, September 2nd, 1984. Seven people were killed and many more seriously injured. At the subsequent trial, Justice Roden said, as patriotism can lead to jingoism and mateship can lead to cronyism, so bikey club loyalty can lead to bikey club war. Shifty. Hey, old bastard. Yeah? What are you doing here? You going to church? <laughs> yeah, right. No, I'm dropping some flowers on the old man's grave. Nice. What you doing after that? Going to a swap meet. Why? Can I come? I don't think so. I'm bored, Shifty. Don't be such a dumb shit asshole. Oh. Listen here, Leanne, I told you to quit with the swear and I'll be off this bike as soon as look at you and slap your ass. Tell you what I'll do. Stay here with me bike, see no one touches it, and I'll think about taking you to the swap, mate. Fucking deal. Oh, soap and water, yeah, Leanne. soap and bloody water and don't be too bloody long. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Leroy. We won't have any left. Trick's getting pressure right in the bastard. Well, use your bloody mouth. Hey, I tried that. But it's in here. Well, just leave it alone, okay? Let me do that. You come and do this. Nice day for it. All right. You know, my father, he never approved of Father's Day. He said it was a couple of spots designed to separate the worker from his money. I'd rather enjoy it, you know. A dear reflection of the importance of being the man of the house. Not my father. No time for reflection there. Of course, growing up in the Gobbles Forge is a man political. Goebbels was a Nazi. What? Yeah. You know, Hitler has only got one ball going. He's a way too small. Himmler had something similar. The poor old Goebbels had nobles at all. What are you talking about, you clown? I'm talking about Father's Day and growing up in the Glasgow slums. And what the fuck has that got to do with the Third Reich, Leroy? You know, don't say another word, pal, OK? Are you going to the swap meet? Yeah, yeah, fog's picking me up. Good. Because I've got a neighbour coming over, he's a drainer. Yeah? He'll probably be out of your depth. I'm sure he had a do. Hey, Bull. You coming to Milpera? Nah. Everybody's going. I'm not. Well, how am I supposed to get there? I need a lift. 
That's not my problem. <laughs> hey, Chapa. Christine. Big night out. Yeah, it was. Come here. Hey, you know this is compulsory, don't you? Somebody wants us all there. <sighs> Fanny Babe, do you mind if I drop Chop off and have a couple of beers? Well, you're lucky it's Father's Day. I'll only be a couple of hours, I promise. Better bring him home. Come Otherwise, here. I'll be doing the cooking. No, no, don't. That's my barbecue. Yeah. You don't touch well, that. Well, you've been told. You, you're a bully. So, yeah. All right, and you smell. Hit it, Leroy. Back hand. Forehand, backhand. Leroy. Game set match. Oh. <laughs> After me, come back for a feed if you like. Uh, we're thinking of heading to Mittagong for a bit of a run. I'll enjoy yourselves. Let's see if there's any interest. See who turns up at the club. If you do decide to come back, it's nowhere to bring some meat, eh? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a bit of a run, Pres. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind that either. Poor old thing hardly gets a ride these days. I heard that. I thought you weren't coming. Yeah, well, stinky fingers needed a lift, and I felt like a beer. It's a waste of time anyway, they're not going to show. Too public, too many people. What can you do at a swap meet anyway? It's like fighting in church. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. You love it. Oh, not like I used to. It's so full of crap. Mate, we can't do this forever. I can't. It's in my blood. <laughs> You just do it because Caesar does it. Bullshit. Mate, you copy everything he does. That's such a load of crap. If he put on lipstick, he'd go and buy a bloody dress. Or he'd go and get fucked. Oh, see? Nice. See, you need a better role model. <laughs> like you? Yes. Solid, dependable, incredibly good looking. <laughs> Solid? Yes. <laughs> well, what do you call this? Eh? What about it? An old couch losing its padding? He's up. <laughs> Storing fat for the winter? Mate, this is a fuel tank for a fuck machine, and don't you forget it. Oh, stop it. Stop teasing. Oh, no, you're mine. Oh. This is how you dance with ladies, gentlemen. I use the term gentlemen very lightly. Hey, Leanne. Leanne. Hey. Hi, Dad. What are you doing here? Oh, I've got a late start. You're not working, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm going down the snow. But it's Father's Day. I got you a present. <laughs> I don't need nothing like that. That's really good. I got it from the Avon lady. Ah, you should hang on to your money, love. I got a job now, Dad. Making and folding curtains. Yeah, well, you should be at school, you know. Uh, yeah, well, I'm in the real world now, ain't I? So, where are you living? I'm Melinda's, the mom and her auntie. Yeah. They're going all right? Uh, you know. Can you speak to your mum much? Not really. Hey, maybe I could come with you, Dad. Down the snow. Yeah, well, why not? 
I'm going to my daughter and all. I don't think the boss would mind. That's great. Not this trip, though. Like, I'd have to ask him permission. What about your present? Well, you could come over during the week. Like, you know, Lorraine and I have moved. You know where we are, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Here's my lift. Well, it was really good seeing you, love. Yeah, you too. Keep out of trouble now. Never. Is that it? Are you going to take one from the side? No. Oh, with a harbour in the back. No. It's a bit of photo. So? So why don't you take one? What for? I just want to do some bloody photo of me bikes. It's too much to bloody ask. Come on. Come on. You had your finger over the bloody <sighs> lens. Here. <clears throat> I've just got a self timer. What's up your ass today? Look, I just got to sit on something. The swap mate. You worried about the swap mate? Don't worry about the bloody commos, mate. Of course, I have to worry about the bloody commos. I heard Snow's got a new shovel rigid with a 56 frame and a 76 engine. Shit's all over this piece of shit. Sexy. What do you mean? Well, they wanted me to see him. They're headed for the swap man, I know it. So it's on. So what are we gonna do? Get the club as quick as you can, they'll run there and up, go. What are you waiting for? Go! It's on. How's it going? Oh, hey, Mike. Yeah, it's going real good. I reckon there's about 20 stalls here already, a little more on the way. You gonna make your money on that? Yeah, yeah, we'll get to 30, I reckon. Five bucks a stall, that's 150 bucks, plus the roast and the raffles. And the wet t-shirt. Yeah, that as well. <laughs> you might even clear 500 bucks. Oh, I hope so. Wet t-shirt, Com. Reckon I should enter? No, I don't. 
Don't be an asshole, Shifty. Watch it, Leanne, or I'll take you home. I want to have some fun. Buy me a vodka and orange, please. No way. Hey, I'm old enough to drink. No, you're not old enough. And just because you do doesn't Born mean you're... an old shit. Jeez, you're a handful, Leanne. You can have a cordial. A bit of ice. One of those umbrellas. I don't understand what you have to be here for. I thought we were having a day with Mum and Dad. That was the plan. Then someone rings and it all goes out the window. That's the way it works. We were supposed to be going to the golf club for drinks. I know. Yeah, well, I'm still going to go. So you should. Sorry. This one. Here. Over there. Can you hear me over? You want to go to the zoo tomorrow? What? They got this condor there. I want to pinch it. We can keep it here. What? A Californian condor. All right, they got a 10-foot wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> they live for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> we get go to the zoo tomorrow, right? Yeah. Over. And out. <clears throat> this is it, eh? I suppose. What if it's just the four of us? Then we can all go home. Yeah. My mum, she's taking Jolie for the weekend. Since when? You didn't tell me. Yes, I did. Why didn't she say hello? Because you're in the shed. I thought he was going to the Campbells. Yeah, I don't like the way they play. They're real rough and I'm not going to go myself. Why not? Because I've got the day to myself. I can clean what? up and have a bath, finish my book. They're expecting you. I don't think they'll miss me, it's not. That sort of day, is it? You but as soon as they can. Well, so much for a day with the family. Bloody obsessed with the banditos. Not doing you any good either. Listen, I've got to do what I've got to do. Yeah, but you have to go looking for a fight. I'm not looking for a fight. Don't you yell at me. Just mind your own business, okay? Well, if you're not my business, what is? This is my club, Vanessa, all right? These are my men. <laughs>
Don't give me that. You love it. Love what? Sitting around, chewing the fat, talking women stuff. Is that what you think we do? Yeah. I've changed my mind. I've got better things to do today than sit around with a bunch of bikey widows. Babe, hey, hey, hey. No, sorry, hey, I'm serious. Hey, Stop hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. Just go and hang with the other old ladies. It's a club day and I really want you there. Fucking club. I'll make it up to you. When I get back from the swap meet, the rest of the day is yours. OK? Better be. Cross me heart. Yeah, well, my legs will be crossed the minute you forget it. I love you. Barbecue till Bull gets here. I'm on strict instructions. Oh, man, they're cooking. Would they boil you an egg? Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Boiling an egg's not manly enough for it. But uh, Barbie's different. It's man against fire. You know, that's a challenge. And God save the bloody meat. Oh, what's Snotty like in the kitchen? Grow in the kitchen. It's got nothing to do with this cooking, though. <laughs> when are you going to the States? Oh, I don't know. Just I'd love it, you know. Can't wait to take me and Jolly to Disneyland, but got to save up, I guess. Yeah, we well, don't tell my lot. There's bloody heaps of them. Can't see that ever happening. We took them to Walt Disney's World on Ice once. Oh, Campbell's love breeding, that's for sure. Think of Phyllis and Seventeen Children. You mind if I don't? You and, um, you and Snotty will have one, won't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he wants a daughter. A daughter? Mm. Why? Because I think the boys are trouble. I'm going to go check on the kids. So are you worried about the boys? I don't see the point of worrying. If they bash each other's heads in, then I know which side I'm on. Hey, lad. Yeah. Mate, you're a rover. What? Certain blokes have got targets and the rovers are there to protect them. So I want you to bash anyone who gets on top of our blokes. Yeah, right. 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 Snod, how's it going? I don't know, you tell me. Well, hopefully they're not going to show. <laughs> There's an idea. Chop. Hey. We need to talk guns. Taking them. I prefer if we didn't. Well, those bastards have got them. We know that. We'll wait another hour or so for everyone to get in, and then we'll head off. with me and take the rest with you in the bull's car. It's gonna love that. He'll get over it. All we're doing is showing them we're armed as well. If they start firing? It's not gonna happen. I'll do this. Well, this is it. Almost enough, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for an hour, have our show, and then we'll leave. Now, if they're there, you make no mistake, it's on. So those on bikes go in colors, cars go in support of the bikes. And more than likely, we're gonna be outnumbered. So the tactics are gonna be important. The whole thing needs to be controlled. Like snow and fog, be in radio contact and under my command the whole time. And with guns, I want you to listen up. You think of them as a deterrent, right? A last resort. And they are not to be loaded when you're driving in the cars. And if you have to shoot, you shoot at the legs. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Now, 
Now, this is the type of day that can make a club. It's also the type of day that can break one. And as my father used to say, you hold your head high because there's money bid for you. You go hard, you go straight, and you listen to orders. And you wear these colors with pride. Fellas, you setting up a stall or you're just looking for parts? Ah, uh, just parts. What are you planning to do with that? What's it to you? This is my turf, mate. Good for you, mate. It's a nice, quiet family day. What do you need with a baseball bat? Protection. From what? Pricks that piss me off. Where's your priz? There he is, just over there. Old frog, it's snow. Any sign of anyone? No, not yet. Over. You mind telling me what you need with a walkie-talkie? Watch that radio. It's hardly an offensive weapon. No, right? but that is. That's my goal at me, right? It's my barge at office. I take it everywhere. What about you, mate, with the baseball bat, huh? You're probably all carrying something. Here we go. Assuming I was to me and my boys just like everyone else. I don't want any trouble. There's not going to be any trouble, pal. OK? Once the bandage turn up, you need to tell all your men to put their weapons away. Now, get rid of that, the baseball bat, and anything else you're carrying, you understand? Is that right, is it? Well, I'll tell you what, mate, I'll think about it. I'm ringing the cops. Hey, hey, I don't know. That's a good idea. Bikies don't like the wall. Foggy's at his checkpoint. <laughs> There's kids here, John. I know that smell. What you doing? They got a gun. That's why we're gonna head right up here. No away from any trouble. Who are they? Don't wanna know, again. When you see them, I just want numbers, OK? Yeah. Right? How many bikes, how many cars, how many minimum bikes? I don't care who they are, who's out in front. I just want numbers. You got that over? Yeah. I think I need someone with me, buddy. No, you don't, all right? You stay put, you're out of trouble over there. Over. Have you got that? Yeah, I got it over. I'll take the flanks over. We 
ready yet? Still waiting on a few stragglers. All right. Hey, we're still going, aren't we? Because I've been polishing me bike all week. A competition? Yeah, I normally win this sort of thing because i got the um, easy rider pegs. Yeah. It's good to see you single-minded, mate. Only way to win, Snod. Only way to win. Been thinking about a long weekend. We should plan a decent run. Yeah. What about Labor Day? That'd be good. Up to the walls of China or Ball Rock National Park. Yeah, we haven't done it for a while. Camp overnight, I've stayed at a pub or something. Well, I better get me bike back on the road. What's wrong with it? That's a Harley, mate. Why do you think I'm driving the bloody wagon? I'm thinking of getting another one. <laughs> oh, you're a sucker for punishment. Someone's got to do it, mate. You got anything? Anything happening down there? No, nah, nothing, mate. Over. Nothing. He's got less prex than I can assure. Sound disappointed, Joe. We've got to face him sometimes, Snow. I'd just rather get it over with. Snow. Huh? What's going on, mate? I don't know. I think Jock's going in for a drink or Smells good. Yeah, it does. Who, mate? Yep. There you go. Thank you. Are you a comma? Thanks, darling. Comment, Chira. Just the one love? Here? Yeah. I'm with my bikey friend. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Do you know Shifty? That's the one. Yeah, I know him. He warned me to stay away from this. Who's next? Uh, one lamb sandwich, mm -hmm. please. That'll be a dollar. Is it? Mm-hmm. How much do you got? It's all right. I'll pay for hers and two for me. It's ready, you mate. There you go. Thanks, mister. Thank you. No worries. What can I get for you, mate?
to those fucking cowards, the Band-Aids. Yellow-livered fuckheads. Too scared to show their face and shit their pants in public. I give you the one and only, the greatest club in this whole fucking sunburnt Dorothea McKellar country of ours. The glorious, undefeated, Comanchero Outlaw Motorcycle Club of Australia. Comancheros forever! Comancheros! Comancheros forever! Comancheros! Comancheros forever! Forever Comancheros! Comancheros forever! Cover me. No firing.
Once you put the guns down. Fire like men. You better get that gun out of my face before I shove it up your ass. <laughs> 